Hello, we're jerking here. And uh, if you remember my last video about the how to do CPR according to the Superman handbook, the ultimate guide for saving the day. Well, then here's part two of that with instead of CPR, it's the how to treat an animal bite. Actually, no, let's not do that one. Let's do how to treat a broken limb. Yeah, let's do that one. Which is on page 115. Hundred of one oh five, one oh seven, one eleven. Here we go. How to treat a broken limb. Step one splinting a broken leg or arm is a splinting a broken leg or arm is a temporary measure to stabilize the injured limb. Whether you find yourself caught in the wilderness or applying first aid on a busy street, you might need to be creative in finding materials to construct a splint. Two sticks will suffice, but roll, but rolled up newspapers or magazines can also provide enough rigid support. As can pillows. Wait, really? Your goal is to immobilize the broken limb in its present position. Don't try to move the limb to return it to its normal alignment. You risk further injury to the broken bone and can cause the victim unnecessary pain with the splint material supporting either side of the broken limb. Tie the splints hence into place with any available materials. Strips of clothing are, are ideal. Rope will serve in a pinch, but rope can slip while cotton or cloth will grip more firmly. Tie a square knot which can be easily Release later. Take care not to tie the knot so tightly as to cut off blood circulation to the injured limb. Two, check for a pulse. To make sure that blood flow to a broken arm or leg isn't, isn't uh, com compromised, check the victim's pulse by pressing on a finger or fingernail, depending on which limb is injured. Or finger or toenail. The nail head should become white as you force blood away from it, and then pink back up quickly when you relieve the pressure. If you're unsure, compare how a nail on the victim's other hand or foot, but unaffected by any injury, reacts to the same pressure. If it takes a long time to get pink again, or if the or if the victim cannot feel his hands or feet, he may be experiencing in, uh, vascular problems related to the injury itself or tightness of splinting. Alright, step three, seek imminent medical help. With the limb immobilized and blood pressure within normal range, seek immediate medical help. Broken limbs, while extremely painful, are usually easily, easily treated by setting the broken bone and applying or applying an immobilizing plaster cast until the bones knit back together knit a n i t hmm. don't know why they chose that word open factors on the floor on the other hand open factors on the other hand can be much more serious fractures not factors I'm not that good at reading. Please excuse me. Sometimes limbs uh, referred to as compound or or green stick fractures. There's open fractures are broken bones that pierce the skin and are exposed to air. Ooh, that's that sounds painful. The treating treating these types of breaks. Your major concern is to. First, control the bleeding. See how to treat a cut, page 103. We'll discuss that in a later video. And then splint the limb without simply... Hold on, without simply... Pushing the bones... Hold on, without pushing the bones back inside the skin. The risk of infection is decreased if you... you simply immo immobilize the injury and get the victim to the nearest emergency room where doctors can apply antibiotics, and surgically treat the injury.
dressing the bones and stitching up the the pierced flesh. Okay, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, how to treat a broken limb according to the Superman Handbook, the ultimate guide to saving the day. Then it has picture instructions. So yeah, well, remember, kids. If you see bullying, stop it. And if you see a crime, call the police. Well, that'll be all for the day. Over and out.